Stop scrolling right now because the car you're looking at is a fraud. It was never designed to fit this body. Ford lost money on every single one they built. And despite being advertised at 375 horsepower, this V8 monster actually produced so much power, factory racers knew they were hiding close to double that figure. This is the Ford Mustang Boss 429, a car that exists for one reason only, to dominate NASCAR's high banked ovals. Ford needed to homologate its newest high performance engine, the massive 429 cubic inch V8, to challenge the legendary Chrysler 426 Hemi in the Grand National Division. NASCAR rules required a minimum of 500 streetcars be sold to the public, and the Mustang became the unlikely host for this uncompromising racing engine. They called it the shotgun engine, and it was a masterpiece of 1960s race engineering. Based on Ford's 385 series, the 429 V8 was built tough, featuring a heavy-duty forged steel crankshaft, connecting rods, and four-bolt main bearing caps. Its defining feature was the aluminum cylinder heads, which used a specialized semi-hemispherical combustion chamber Ford, officially labeled the Crescent. These heads allowed for enormous valves and enabled the engine to reliably push toward an 8,000 RPM redline. Conservatively rated at 375 horsepower, the actual output of these motors, especially the early S-code variants, is widely estimated by experts to exceed 500 horsepower. The engine was simply too wide to fit the Mustang's narrow body. This forced Ford to send every chassis to the specialty experimental facility, Car Craft, in Brighton, Michigan. There, specialists surgically modified the front structure, cutting and relocating the shock towers to shoehorn the giant motor into place. This bespoke labor-intensive modification process meant that Ford incurred substantial financial losses on every single car. To help balance the resulting nose-heavy weight, the battery was immediately moved to the trunk, and a rear sway bar, a first for any production Mustang, was added to improve track handling. Each vehicle received a unique KK number on the driver's door to track the custom work by car craft, beginning with number 1,201 and concluding with 2,558. Over two model years, only 1,360 vehicles were ultimately produced, including 1,358 Mustangs and two highly specialized Cougars built for drag strip duty. The earliest 1969 models, the prized S-Codes, with their race-spec internals and magnesium valve covers, featured a massive functional hood scoop painted to match the body color. By the 1970 model year, production had dropped significantly. New grabber colors were introduced, and the hood scoop was painted matte black across the board. While the Mustang platform proved strategically ill-suited for the NASCAR Aero Wars that defined the era, the homologated Boss 429 engine was a triumph. Powering the superior Ford Torino Talladega and Mercury Cyclone, spoiler two to victory circles, taking home 26 winners' trophies in 1969 alone. Today, this legacy and its highly specialized engineering drive the car's extreme collector value. The technical difficulty of correctly restoring its dry deck cooling system, which uses 21 individual O-rings for sealing instead of a traditional head gasket, means that only a handful of examples ever achieve the perfect factory correct condition sought by collectors. For these meticulously verified matching numbers cars, auction prices frequently soar well past $500,000, cementing the Boss 429 as an irreplaceable, highly valued piece of American racing. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, share for more legendary muscle cars and JDM's history and performance specs. Leave a comment for what you would like to see next.